Welcome to Let's Talk Geek, episode 46. Please, no more mobile. In this show, we talk about Google Motion for Real, near-field communication, and why uh, possibly it is around, and driverless cars, why we're not going to be getting them anytime soon. Thank you for listening. Welcome to Let's Talk Geek, episode 46. With us today, we have Stuart Allen. How's it? Gerrit uh, Vermeulen. Hello. Jan Vermeulen. That's me. And Barry Reed. Whoop, whoop. I know it's cool. confusing. And, all and of course, myself, Tim Hawk. All right. Um, both the brothers had randoms for this week. Indeed. You begin. We had, had what? Go for it. You had a random. A random for the number 46. For 46. Chromosome? Oh, for 46, yes. It's the number of chromosomes uh, for humans. Number of human chromosomes. And then uh, building on, on uh, something Barry brought up, which is that it's the atomic number for palladium. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. All right. Palladium is a metal used in the Hellgate London game as sort of the cornerstone of, uh, of, of how you kill the demons in Hellgate London. Hellgate London is a game built by one of the guys who helped make Diablo 2. Yeah. Oh, and, okay. Uh, then they, they started Flagship Studios. And um, Hellgate London didn't do really, I mean, it didn't do very well in Alpha. It wasn't a very good game in Alpha. It wasn't a very good game in Beta. And then it, it finally they had to rush it out the door for a Halloween release, I think in 2007. Yeah. And it tanked so, so bad. Yes. Because it had such good write-ups as in like what it was to be expected yes. from it. And then it just tanked. Yeah, yeah. And it's unfortunate because it was yeah. just a poor, poor implementation. Now, I actually own one of the Hellgate uh, London novels. Yeah. And in there, and it was so frustrating. It's obviously written by somebody who just did very limited research. So he's like, he set the thing in South Africa, and then all hell breaks loose in London. For the, and now this dude has to travel back to London to help save the world and all that. Yeah. And like a core element to killing all these demons is palladium. They have to forge bullets out of palladium. They have to forge swords out of palladium. You know who the top palladium producer in the world is? Second, second, second. South Africa. <laughs> no mention of that is made in the, in the book at all. And the person comes from South Africa. Say again? And the person comes. Yeah, yeah, and the person in the book, like, well, yeah. went to South Africa and he was he had sort to go of back. game ranger. There. So it would be awesome, like, feed in that, you know, he comes through with palladium. Exactly. Or, like, he establishes some sort of channel from South Africa for palladium feeds into London so they can kill the demon spawn. But no, no, no. We won't Google palladium. Anyway. <laughs> All right. <laughs> After that outburst. Dude, that, that game uh, pissed you off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm and that was in 2007. <laughs> yes, dude, I was, I'm glad I didn't know you back then. <laughs> and he's still angry. <laughs> he's still angry. <laughs> Luckily, he's not a bird. <laughs> the anger is deep within. Did you didn't bring your angry birds with you? No, no because we were scared you were going to take them. I was scared that you were going to take them. <laughs> you get I, got, the I got real angry bir birds, yeah. Bought oh. them when I was in Hong Kong. Awesome. I, got, I got the whole what? set of six. And like and you didn't color. bring them. Didn't I, bring didn't them. Them. I showed you on the camera when I was in Hong Kong. No, but we we can't throw them in each other. Now. Exactly. Oh shit! The yeah. All right. I'll bring them next week. Okay. I was just more worried that you were gonna think one was yours. <laughs> <laughs> They're all no, mine. They're <laughs> <laughs> there. I don't think one of them yeah, is mine. I, I couldn't bring them because I needed to establish <laughs> the ground rules first. <laughs> but I'll bring them next week. All right. Let's get into our topics for tonight. Oh, there are no events. Beer. Beer Festival 16th, uh, but you need to be invited and have a ticket. Oh, do you have to be invited? Well, no, you, you can buy tickets, can't you? Yes. Yeah. Uh, but only from people who have pledged beers. <coughs> oh, oh, that's it's not interesting. Open to the general Is public. it not open? Oh, that's no, interesting. No, no. I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't know oh, that. Okay. Oh, well, suckers. <laughs> Uh, they say this because they <laughs> both have been organized tickets for, for the beer festival. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Booyah. Cool. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's get to our first one, which is Android fragmentation and Google's fight against it. Um, we have a lot of disagreements of what exactly <laughs> this means. I think half the problem is we don't really know yet. Um, I have a perfect solution for them. What? Buy Apple. Buy an Apple. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, not really mean by okay. But is that that's a perfect problem. solution? That's a is solution. Is how you're supposed to one. hold the iPhone again? Yeah, but and, and if you buy it in China, that you know suddenly it gives you Chinese characters. Yeah, you shouldn't be convert. buying your you shouldn't be buying your iPhone in China. But anyway, what's <laughs> Let, okay. Let's explain oh, yeah. to, to everybody what what, what's going on yeah. first. Yeah. Basically, what it sounds like is 
th there are clauses in Google's contracts that they sign with various manufacturers, such as Motorola, LG, HTC, mm. Samsung, mm. which basically allows them to take a hardline stance on fragmentation of, of, of Android itself as a platform. Yeah. So what that means exactly is really up for debate because that can mean that they're not allowed to change, tinker too much in the kernel, making it so that certain apps won't work properly across phones. The other way, the, w the way fragmentation is coming up in the media, though, is the fact that some phones are running on 1.6, some phones yeah, are running on 2.1. 2 it's better that also just to explain what it was like before. Was previously before, Google would just release the source code. Everyone would take it. Um, you would have to sign a contract with Google to get the App Store and I think some of the apps. which Market in the Google apps, yes. Yeah. Mm. Um, what, what they've done now is if you want to become one of the early uh, people get the source code early, which is all the manufacturers want that. Uh, you need to now sign a contract. And in that, they're, they're going to have some anti-fragmentation for the software or requirements that the, the guys will actually have to fulfill. Yeah, yeah. and that includes skins and uh, what crap where they try and install on the oh, phone yeah. and screen si uh, screen sizes as yeah, far as hardware another. has to be a so it has to be no, it has to be a certain aspect ratios okay. and things like that. Hardware well, support. Android only supports certain aspect ratios and uh, resolutions. Yes, but, but you can hack it surely. to do anything yeah. you want. Yeah. So Probably. I guess yeah. you can. That's the yes. problem. So you write an app that is designed like a game that is designed to run at a set, you know, at set resolutions. At the Android resolution. At the yeah. Android yeah. resolution or, 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 you know, uh, um, aspect ratios. Yeah. And now all of a sudden someone brings out something else that doesn't quite fit and yeah. Yeah. all of a sudden doesn't work. And it doesn't work some properly, don't work properly. Menus off the side of the screen, whatever it is. Another thing that's interesting with this is they have a recent decision to withhold the source for Honeycomb. Yes. Mm. For yeah. non-privileged partners. Yeah, and Honeycomb is the version of the operating system that was released for tablets specifically. Yes, it was designed yeah. for tablets. Yes. And they're saying it will be released when it is ready. Mm. So, so but not, this not is giving nonsense, any kind of time frame. No. It's open source. And that it might not be released. Well, yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, yeah no, the, the source Honeycomb might not be released. You see, the thing is, because it's um, under Apache, I mean... They, they have full right to actually keep that source back. True. The kernel the source kernel is under is GPL, so that yeah. I think they mm. have, the, have released. Yeah. But the rest of it, they're kind of keeping back no, no, because they think it's not ready. So I, I'm going with if Google says it's not ready, then it's probably no, a bit of know, a hack. My, my problem with that is they have a tablet that's running it. Yes. Yeah, but they've yes, got but privileged they, partners. Yes, but they privileged partners. And, and this so is all the privileged partners up. can get hold of the source mm. code. And this is now what bothers me about the whole privileged partners partners <coughs> thing is how do you how does Google determine who gets to release the first Android three tablet? Why did Motorola get to bring out the Zoom before well, see, anybody They else? seem to be going randomly. Okay, well you haven't a turn. It's your turn now. I I, mm. I bet that that randomly is influenced by the size of a certain check. That gets deposited into a certain bank. I don't know. I, no, I, I, I think, think it's. I think it's more of. Uh, Larry pulls up. The Motorola uh, pulls in. Larry picks up the tablet and goes, "This is pretty cool. Let's let's debut our new OS on this." And that's how they got it. I'm telling you, that's how. Yeah, it happened. I, I don't think it's so much. It's it's. Google has so, so much, much money paycheck, anyway. It's more that we'll get certain agreements from you that you will. Yeah. You will. Uh, you will update your your device. You will. Yeah. And you it's will develop like it that. under under wraps until we announce it and yes. that kind of thing which, which will be a nice change for motorola because a lot of motorola's devices the milestone has received relatively good updates but slow mm. slow they've been consistently yeah. slower the milestone, than HTC. but in the u.s no slower than samsung in, in the u.s no, it yeah. was pretty good the updates were fairly good which for is the, quite amusing for the droid. with the nexus s Dude, samsung yeah. is notoriously bad but samsung in that case the updates come from google not from Sorry, Samsung. Sorry, but you say you, you, you're hitting on Samsung here, but uh, Sony Ericsson is just as bad, hey? Sony Ericsson is worse than Samsung. Yeah. yeah. Sorry That's about actually that. been Absolutely the worst true. one so far. They do only have one or two devices. And it's also on 1.6. No, no, no. They've no, gone up to 2.1. But they don't okay. get really good updates. For the, yeah. for the, for the X10, I don't know about updated. the Mini. Yeah, anyway. like the X8 and the X10, I think, have received updates, but yeah. like 2.2.1. Once, yeah. 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 That concludes the Android segment of this show. Right. No more phones. We'll try. <laughs> <laughs> no it problem. Somehow it always comes back. back. The biggest problem is, you is know, a, a lot of tech nowadays is mobile no, tech. So that's, yes. you've got yeah, to but talk about it. We've got, got to start, yeah. But yeah, we, we don't want to get stuck on a topic. On phones. All right, well, okay, let's get on to Connect. April Fool's. April Fool's, which yeah. turned out to be partially true. Um, the that day was after. quite fun. That was fun. You know, okay, so... The Dude, you want to talk about yeah, this? Yeah, the, the story was that uh, they came out with G Gmail Motion. So they had some dude dancing in front of... Their, his webcam and it would like write an email so you you do this 
and it means reply. You know, you do mm. double thumbs back, and it's you know reply, reply to all. all, and all the rest. You and lick just, a you lick a stamp, lick and, a stamp, and it sends and, it's, and it sends the mail, and it's you you know you're thinking forward, forward yeah. thinking, all that junk. So anyway, these guys at um, these guys when they oh, it was literally like a day after that uh, mm. April Fools came out, the guys at the uh, ICT MXR lab uh, built it. Using a connect. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So they're the guys that have got that fast F A A S T uh, uh, skeletal tracking mm. software for oh. the connect. It's all open. You can go to their <coughs> the MXR website. The uh, it'll be in the show notes and download the software. And as far as I know, the the, the Gmail stuff is there as well. Um, the Gmail stuff is called slow, by the way, which is <laughs> quite funny. And yeah, so they whipped it up in like a day, and it works. That's so, cool. <laughs> It's quite cool. Very cool. Yeah. And the video is fun too, so watch that. Also shows you with the connect now what you what now that we actually got some decent motion tracking oh, stuff, which can actually so crazy. Stuff yeah, it's available. so crazy. You've and at the moment open source the uh, libraries to use it. Well they've always Well they been. are open source, but also Mark's supporting them and trying to get yes. it out there. Yeah, it's it's brilliant. Um you know, the, have you seen have you seen the quadcopters that have got connects now that they're doing? No, no. Mine. Yeah, it's um uh, it's a team at Washington State, I think. Mm-hmm. They've got a helicopter, a quadcopter with Connect, and it does, you know, yeah. it's for um, GPS denied environments, so inside a building. So it uses uh, optical flow, cool. 3D optical flow to do uh, stabilization, to do localization. Then it also builds a 3D map with SLAM and all the rest to then uh, do like 3D pathfinding in an environment and, and stuff like that and builds maps. They've as got the thing this connected they, to they a they PC, just, don't they? No, it does a lot on the helicopter, and then yes, to unload it, it d- over dumps wireless it all down, to yeah. a PC. That does, does it? Okay. Um, do they only use one connect, or one is there multiple connect. connects? Just on one the... connect on okay. it. Yeah, and it works rather, yeah. rather well. Good grief! Um, have yeah, it's it's quite cool. I haven't got the video here. I'll go find it. It's very it cool. Hey, it's bring this has opened a whole new oh, space dude, in the yeah. hacker community. Mm. It's really really cool stuff. What's well, all these things that you couldn't do before that you now can? Mm. Yeah, the stuff that used to cost you could do it before. Yeah, you tens of thousands it. of dollars. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and it just took so long. And that was the problem. Well, so and it's also, there's now standards. So as everybody develops better libraries, yeah. um, those libraries become shared. And it just, instead of having one or two people working on this device, you have thousands. No, oh, exactly. It's the no, usual it's, thing. You know it's how much cool. publicity Microsoft is getting out of this? Good publicity. Well, I, I believe after it's... After the initial... Yeah, I don't know. But I believe it's the fastest selling consumer product. Yeah, it is. In the world of the connect. Yeah. So. I don't know how much of it that is the hacker community. Because it was quite funny. Like, Apple came out and, and, you know, they're always boasting numbers or whatever. Yeah, the iPad. Yeah, and so yeah. And they came out and they said, well, we sold this many of the new thing. And, and, and Microsoft came out and was like, yeah, well, if we're talking gadgets, well, we kind of sold, like, double that <laughs> in, in the first month or whatever for mm. the Connect. Reminds me of a fairly arrogant statement by Steve Ballman, but probably not that inaccurate. Mm. Is uh, Well, now it's inaccurate, but I believe it was it was when the um, the iPhone or something like that was released yeah. initially. Either iPhone or the iPod or something like that was released initially. And, and Steve Ballmer conceded. He's like, yeah, they're first. And, and they'll do well, and it's a good product. Yeah. But we'll launch ours, and we'll sell 10 times as many as they do. Yeah. That's the bottom line. How'd that go with Zune? <laughs> How'd that go with Windows Phone 7? So... I still feel bad for oh, them, wow. hey, for Windows Phone 7, because if you've ever played with one... I it's, have. I've it's, reviewed one. It's not... I don't think it's a bad uh, operating system. You know, it's better... It's way better than uh, <coughs> Windows Mobile... 6.5. Well, that's, that's not well, too difficult. Are you comparing it to like iOS again? <laughs> How did it take yeah. long? Barry, what isn't better than Windows Mobile? Exactly, but you know what? They've revamped the thing completely. They've taken what they've learned from the Zune and, and you know, done that. And it's good thinking on their side. Look, you know what? They're never going to be a... You know, you know they're never going to... My thing is... Know, I think they, they just they, got slammed. They took too long. No, of mm. course they didn't. And, and, of course and they it's did. not as good as what and, it should be at mm. this point. Yes. And it's, also it looks slick and they, it works they, fairly They had well. Windows 6.5, which was way ahead of everything else, and then they just stopped. Yeah. And they said, well, we can just rise back and don't worry. Nobody's going to beat us. Yeah. And which, you know. Ah, anyway, but anyway. I don't feel sorry. I feel sorry for Nokia. Yeah. I, do, I don't. I feel very sorry for them. Why? Shame. Having to put Windows Phone Seven on those beautiful devices. Oh, you they mean make. in that in that sense? Yes, but basically, they, they, instead of going, 
Android and Windows. Look, if they've got Android and Windows Phone 7 and a whole bunch of other things, fine. But they've got Windows Phone 7, which is not going to have a phone out for they should have a gone year to HP. two years. No. We've done WebOS. Yes. WebOS is yeah, bad. Yeah, that might have actually WebOS been a on the one. awesome devices Nokia makes. I mean, Nokia really does make really cool devices. They, and they, they feel good pretty damn and they look cool. good. And the keyboards are amazing on Nokia devices. Mm. I, I still don't understand what was wrong with, with Android. Yeah. So they, I mean, I mean, yeah. they would have had to compete with a whole bunch of other devices. What about Namo? Yeah, like their own stuff. Kind of on a back burner. Yeah, they, they, Symbi- they, they said like Symbian's not going to die, and they're quite right. It's not going to die for a while, but you know, they, they needed to start looking at something else. No, well, Mamo Mamo was there, but it was just taking too long. No, I know Mamo, but oh. it was, yeah, it was oh. taking too long. And it, but the thing is, it, like, it's too late. They but weren't getting it to the point of the other operating systems that they could just go out and buy. No, all that stuff aside, we have to move on to Moving something other than phones. phones. What was the base story about, the Connect? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I put yeah. the video to the I put the video to the quadcopter in the show notes. So cool, thank you. Go check it out. It's pretty cool. It's pretty sweet. All but right. no, there was something before the connect and the quadcopters. Was that yes, where the base story? We were talking about phones before that. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean the actual base no, story. Dude, oh, it was the, it was the Gmail? The yeah, April Fools. Yeah, April yeah, Fools. Yeah. Yeah. Gmail notion. What other April Fools? Were That's what I'm saying. Let's get yes. back to the base story. Okay. What about the April Fools? Uh, from Google, there was a couple. Um, really cool one was the uh, translators. Yeah, the translators. The, 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 the manual translators. predictors. Man, manual yes, predictors. manual predictors. Manual that predictors. was awesome. There was a guy, I don't know who sent it to uh, me, a South African company. They do, they do like fax to email. Yeah. Well, they've mm-hmm. now got a like a email to, or uh, email to fax, fax to email. So then they've got like a fax to post. Oh, so, but Gmail did that like a few years ago. I don't know. But the, I you could print, but print to your... No, they've your got a device that they sell that yeah. scans, that like, discombobulates your whatever parcel you put in there, and then it'll email it to someone else who's got... And then you can pay to get another box that yeah. then builds your part again. Oh, my God. It's like a trans- no. teleporter, dude. <laughs> the, over fax. The best, <laughs> the best one I heard all day was the minecraft one no what was the minecraft was one that? i didn't know that dude you sent it to me you were like these are my ones of the day it was the minecraft um portal oh yes dude yeah. that, that was on that uh, was think geek yeah think, think geek. geek had one it was a usb oh, minecraft portal okay um, portal to the underworld World, yes what do you want to do with your rubbish Plug in this USB portal to the underworld and throw your crap down there. <laughs> yeah, okay. and it just goes to it the was. nether. Yeah, to the nether. <laughs> also, like, well, yeah. it's also part of Google Motion, was partially with your whole scanning thing, is where they had it put your camera up and you throw your documents in the air, and that scans them. <laughs> <laughs> um, Spark uh, Button had a cool one as well. Yeah? A solder kit, a soldering iron kit. Right? What do you mean? It was a kit to build a soldering iron. Oh. <laughs> Some soldering required. <laughs> 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 <That's> <laughs> <awesome>. <laughs> Something which I didn't see get a lot of press coverage was Kalula's April Fool's thing, um, they do. which is they they launched the Skywriting service. So oh yeah, so, okay, cool. So they essentially on their commercial jets, you pay them <laughs> money and they write stuff. That's very and cool. And so they go and the the person being quoted um, is a Camellia Bearheart. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and Camellia uh, Bearheart promised that the writing phase of the flight will be timed not to coincide with beverage service. <laughs> <laughs> Very important. That's uh, awesome. that cool. Uh, you know, you know what um, uh, Mango could have done? Their April Fool could have been... Um, price hike. Finally, finally, we've got Wi-Fi in the sky. <laughs> because I don't think it's ever going to arrive. Talking about Wi-Fi, you were wanting to mention something. Sure, we can bring it up now. Um, Johan Els, like, uh, yes. in, a, in a previous podcast, he, he brought up his pet peeve with the fact that you cannot use your cell phone in the air. And why? Why can you not use your cell phone in the air? And so um, I'm not going to divulge too many details. Um, there will be an article up. What's more, why do you have to always turn it off? Yes. And yes. Why, why no... And, yeah. and, and I've received comment from an airline. First, um, the CAA is releasing new safety regulations. Mm-hmm. And uh, when That's that came Civil up, Aviation Authority. Yeah, the Civil Aviation Authority is releasing new, uh, new safety regulations. So I'm like, oh, sweet. That means that there's a press contact at the bottom. So I email um, the, the press contact and go, you know, what does this mean for using devices like cell phones in the air? Um, 
and uh, you know, will this w- does this actually change anything? And she and she got back to me, or he, uh, I don't remember now, got back to me and said, um, actually, nothing's changed. This regulation is exactly the same as it's always been, and it's the airline's responsibility to yeah. to, or it's the airline's call. The airline gets to decide whether to use cell phones in the air or not. So I email some airlines. Airline comes back to me and says, uh, no. Here's a scan of a circular sent by the CAA in 2005 saying we're not allowed to use, yeah. still allow people to use cell phones on an airplane. So now I've emailed the CAA again. It's been with two the days. letters? No, 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 not with the letter. Oh. I've just mentioned the circular. I've seen the <coughs> circular now and I've not heard anything back from them. So I might just the article without the comment, but... That's interesting. Hmm. Oh, well. it's like it's like the one hand doesn't know what the other hand's doing. Yeah, it's the CIA no, saying one thing. a lot, but also it's like it's always easier to make it somebody else's problem. Oh, of course, yeah. Pass the buck. And you know what? I don't want phones on planes. I really, really, really don't. Just give me data services. No, dude, yeah, data service is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Freaking no, 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 I don't want ringing not phones. So I don't even need to call or not. Music. You can still make can't calls you? with data services. I don't want people yakking on their phones <laughs> on the damn plane. Yes, yeah. Stuart. Okay. But having said this, his complaint is he's got his smartphone and it's got his diary. Oh, yeah, no, 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 I get that. No, and I he's not allowed yeah, to I even know. have that on to yes, do anything that's on his phone. I know, I know that. Yeah. I just don't, you know. But you can use anything else. Or and you can whip out your iPad and off you go. You can forget your Wi-Fi on your your laptop. Well, here's a funny here's a funny thing. I mean, I've just come back from Hong Kong. On, uh, and I, I came back on Cathay Pacific and you know how they usually say did you say fly on the A380 again? no ah, no, no. Or it's 747s. A, no 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 it wasn't 747s it was uh, Airbus A340 oh, yes, or yeah. something it's the long one yeah the long one um, <clears throat> anyway point being is it was the first time that they they came on and said okay so you're not allowed to use your cell phones on the plane because we don't have the premium cells and blah 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 on the, on the plane but you obviously on all planes you're allowed to use your laptops yeah and they say you can use your laptops blah 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 blah. it's the first time i've seen them they say yes you can use your your laptops your iphones your phones in flight mode and everything but make sure you have they tell you they just say please disable your wi-fi and your bluetooth and they specifically said and they put the icons there and they say please disable these two things and you can use any device you want and that's the first time low power Ah, dude. It, you know, it's it's a it's a transmitting device, uh, and you know, but it's the first time that I've actually seen them. They say, use what you want, but make sure yeah. you know, take it as a responsibility of yourself. Just turn them off, and then we're happy. Yeah, like yeah. it was quite, it was quite. What strange. happens if you don't? No, nothing happens. Kick you off a plane, dude. I had my. Well, I had heard stories mid flight. You know what well, happens? Like, those toilets actually just go straight up. And they just flush it out. Here's a, here's a <laughs> funny. Take your laptop. And they flush it out. Go with it. Here's a funny ball. thing. Though. <laughs> they keep the laptop. <laughs> here's a funny thing, though. Um, okay, so I jailbroke my iPhone. I. I remember in a previous podcast, I said it's the best thing I've ever done. Turns out it's the worst thing I've ever done. It stops doing stuff that it says it's doing. I put my phone phone into flight mode. A little plane flies in and it's not in flight mode. Uh, it's still <laughs> it's still got the cellular on and everything. So I didn't know this until I got to China. Well, actually halfway to Hong and Kong. And then your phone rang. I'm flying over Africa or something just before we turn out to go over um, the sea. And all of a sudden, these SMSs start coming through at like 30,000 feet. And like, Barry's going to get a monster roaming <laughs> charges because he's been roaming with data and, on. And these, and these <laughs> na- the flight mode didn't turn jack squat off. I'm getting push notifications. I'm getting um, <laughs> SMSs coming through. And all of a sudden, I'm halfway there. I'm going, oh, shit. And I turned Turn it off. off. So ah, anyway. I, I was surprised at one that it worked at 30,000 feet because I mean we were in the air for a long time before it but actually started working. What it might be is you're saying in the middle of Africa so they might have turned the cell phone tower reception like right up quite up a bit cranked to, it to, up, to have yeah. fewer towers. Yeah, it, was, it, it happened somewhere probably over like Mozambique or somewhere no. further up. But either way, yeah, cool. it was quite, <laughs> yeah, it was quite this on a bit. Uh, funny. Uh, Google Plus One. Anybody played with this yet? No. Know no. what I'm talking about? No. Mm-hmm. Is that like Google Like Google button or something? Google for lonely yes. geeks. Uh, really They'll hire you on a plus one. <laughs> you can bring your own plus one. <laughs> um, effectively, it's, it's the equivalent of like button, uh, Facebook like. Yeah. But this is more for the a website. Oh, is this the ads that you can like the ads? No, no, no. no. This, this okay. is with the search results. That must have been April Fools. <laughs> uh, when you, when you have search results, you can sign up for this, um, and then it also looks at your social graph. And you c- can get uh, sort of almost. I think this idea is eventually to have curated searches. 
Um, so if you've got a plus one, it will show me that you've plus one the like result five. Okay, yeah. And it's it's a way of effectively improving their search results. Okay. And um, they do say eventually they're going to start rolling this out to sites and all the rest of it. Mm-hmm. And in which case you're very much like the Facebook like. It's also to try to get around that, you know, everybody's complaining how bad the search results are now and you're getting all the content farms and all the rest of it. And how do you find the really good results? And it's, it's and I think that it's, and it's supposed to relate though to your, so random people won't see something up plus one, but my, my friends yeah. will see what up plus one. Dude, there's flipping content farms are suddenly starting to become a really major problem in my life. Mm. Is it? Yes, I don't know. Something happened, but almost every search I make now, the damn first hit is some flipping farm with all just well, a whole page of links. Yeah, and yeah, I must say, mine's been pretty good at, at filtering those out. Yeah. No, no, something's cha- I something happened. Some, I don't know. Actually, apparently, well, recently they changed the, f- the uh, filtering algorithm to actually try exclude some of them. I know, but it's weird. It's just so with you, it worked the other way around. Yeah, it gave me all that crap. Okay, I anyway. must say, I, I don't generally get them that often. No, I don't know. Someone I can't remember when last I got them. I have occasionally, but the generally it's actually turned to result with information I need. Yeah. So, so you mean I've been... Oh, success. Cool, information, cool, go. It's like you're looking for a recipe or how to build or fix something. Yeah. And, and then they return the content form, which has the information, and I'm happy with that. Mm. And then I get on with my life. No. Oh, well. The other stuff I'm searching for tends to be quite esoteric, very specific... Sorry, and related to programming. Ah, okay, I was about to say. Tim has been hitting the, the pictures. <laughs> I would say, so you, I'm sure there are tons of content farms Dude, for the stuff you're talking it's about. It's so funny. We, we're looking for, what we, I can't, I'm trying to think now what we were looking for. Oh, we we're looking, we were having this argument at work today about snow, uh, snowflakes and crystals and why it crystallizes into five, you know, five yeah. prongs yeah. and why is they symmetrical <clears throat> and, and things like that. Dude, just watch out what you type in to snowflake and then you hit <laughs> images <laughs> <laughs> make so sure dodgy, safe search is on dodgy <laughs> pictures <laughs> top tip if you're looking at dodgy <laughs> pictures are very funny anyway, yeah let's not go there all right uh, then other <laughs> oh it was quite funny one of these topics i was hoping we were hoping to get philip de Vitz on but unfortunately he had to run off for something quite urgent this evening this was the one i was going to ask him about is this new york times paywall um and what you know what you guys think about it apparently they finally implemented it apparently there are so many holes to get around it that's not even funny i thought it had been implemented for a while now already sorry no. i just explain it a bit more what is it all about new what york times it? now have a p- paywall in front of their website so yeah. if you want to get to the content mm-hmm. you can you see the headlines get, still yes and a, yeah. and a blurb like the first paragraph abstract, and if abstract you, yeah. yeah they've actually got it apparently cost them 40 million to implement the system uh, you 25, yeah, your, your yeah. first 25, you know, things you can see, 25 articles a month. If you link in from Google, you can get to the articles. So, you know, they're still searchable and yeah. it's 40 million. I for know a system is. like that, it's quite sophisticated. So it's not just like we block the content. It's not 40 million no, worth. Dude. Dude, I'll do it it's for not them just we for block like the content. I'll do it for them for half. It's it's not just like we block the content. Million. It's with a JavaScript hack in the URL that you can get the full article. I think I don't think this is forty million pounds. It's forty million dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is wow. It's literally like unhiding some variables and you mm. can get the full content. No, which, yeah. which makes a lot of sense because they they have this sort of the sort of hack to have to have the article searchable and you can get to it if you come from Google. Mm. So all you have to do is fool the thing that you come from Google. Yes. He's been um, or RSS anyway. feeds apparently there's so many ways around yeah, it and if, if someone links you to it directly yeah. as well doesn't that go around yeah. it mm. so just, yeah, just post the post the Google URL or just on every now and again delete your cookies yeah it's the same as it's the same as that um, what's that new paid magazine or, or newspaper that uh, Apple daily. released the daily um, it's the same as that. So it's a Apparently paid. It's doing quite well though. It's a paid newspaper for the iPad specifically, which they mm. will eventually bring to other. Is it platforms. South African only? Or no, 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 international. It's 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 US it was US. launched oh, US, by US. Yeah, okay. it's US. Yeah. Um, by a Rupert, couple of people Rupert left Murdoch. the New York Times to go run it and so on and under the Apple oh, okay, name or cool. whatever, something like that. Anyway, the point being is it's a paid newspaper, but it's like taking a static. Uh, New York Times yeah. and just scanning it into the app. That's pretty much what it's like. Um, it, it is a bit I, more I know when they've spoken on Twitter and stuff, they've all said... Yeah. Huh? Is, huh? Am I paying for this? Because it's, go this get is the same where you thing? also he's got top and writers and it costs them X million as well. It's daily. So it's not up-to-date news. It's 
daily news. So, yeah, but they, you want the releasing... journalistic, in, you want the journalistic insight. That's what you're normally and paying for. Yeah, okay, no, 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 this is not what I'm it's saying. It's not quite a, as good as that. You know, it's not just opinion pieces. A lot of yeah. it is news that. Well, why would you bother? You just go online and find yeah. the latest version. Oh, no, it's true. just news yeah, like okay. in normal Sunday um, Times. There are some opinion pieces, but, sorry, but apparently that, a lot of it isn't. Not oh. really what so I'm saying right. about it. What I'm saying is that also has a, a pay portal oh, or okay, a pay, yes, a pay, pay wall, yeah. wall mm. in front of it. But it's the same thing is like if your mate's got it and he shares an article, you can go click on the link and it takes you straight to the full but article. That's cool. but, but having said Which that, is, that's what I'm saying. What so it's got that, but why Barry, not do that what for... What we generally also forget is that we are geeks. We think of ways around these things or the rest of it. It's not targeted to stop us. I know, of course not. It's targeted to stop your mother or your yeah. father so that they'll pay for it and the non-geeks out there will, will pay for it. The same, I think, with New York Oops. Times. Oh, sorry, Barry, we're a little bit outnumbered, eh? Yeah, no, of course. No, 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 of course. <laughs> sorry, but like, what I'm saying is, yeah. it's not... The, it, what I'm saying is the uh, the New York Times are not the first people to have... Yeah, but this paywall is yeah, but that's done. Up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know oh, what no, I mean? but the data is done by Rupert Murdoch. Yeah. Who runs the New York Times. Same person. <laughs> Probably the same developers. <laughs> Sorry, this is not a... Okay, that's a valid point. Sorry, I didn't... Uh, but didn't he leave the New York Times to go run that completely? No, he owns... No, he owns no. all of it. He owns all of oh, it. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. he owns it all. Owns Sorry, it all. I'm not Sorry. that much of a journalist. Yeah. I don't know that who <laughs> owns what when it comes no, to no, journalism. No, no, he's, he's involved with both, and that was his answer to... His solution was, let's, let's beat these guys that are up to date and beat everything, but bringing out something that's daily... Yeah. Everyone we like, okay, right. now the example of the guys that we want to have here is, uh, is the Daily, Daily Maverick. Um, and I actually think they're quite good because a lot of the articles are not actually, they're opinions, pieces mm. on the news. And for that, you will go and you'll, you'll read the opinions and it, they'll give insight and talk about the news. Yeah. And if that thing's not up to date, up to date, it still gives you a lot it's of really information. I like opinion and pieces. It's uh, yeah. If you haven't seen it, go 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 check them out. No, they're, they're, they're very good. good. They and had some good coverage of the Fukushima mm. Daiichi plants mm. and stuff like that, nuclear power and no. oh, they've had some good also politics and yeah, stuff. They 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 have a whole range stuff. of things. Yeah. Also, you can get an email from them, a daily email of what's happening, um, which is pretty cool to check out what's happening during the day. They're not too alarmist. They actually put a bit of thought, yeah. a bit of balance mm. into the articles um, and stuff. Okay, that's so cool. Now, if you, if it's like that and it's daily and mm. the rest of it, you're not going to care too much. But if it's but the point being is this is just news, news yeah. Um, and it's you daily. want to have information. And you want it up to date. I mean, how many times have you heard? Oh, there's been a big accident on the N1. You don't want to go read about what happened in the tomorrow. accident tomorrow morning. You want it now. Yes. Like yeah, go check the pig same, spotter. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing. No, but you got to be invited to see pig spotter. No, you don't. You can just you can click just follow. You say follow him, and then he normally just does allows. he. Oh, yeah. does he? Okay. Mm. So and in. if you if you give something you can just at at him what what's happening and stuff like that. You don't need to direct message him or anything. Cool. It works. I've done it. <laughs> Have you? Yeah, I've stopped following though because it just it, it clouds my stream. I, I've Rosie, to, so much. There's a couple yeah. of things. Uh, well, while we're on that topic, <laughs> I need to whine weird. about this. I was about to. I was about <laughs> dodgy, but okay. We, we call it we call it crapping on the stream because that's yeah. Um, and and uh, not, not to be you know I mean obviously big spotters, but I'm actually going to create a separate Twitter account just to link. To Pig Spotter and Vodacom and Celsi. Oh, and uh, Pig Spotter's. Dude, I wish you could filter that crap out sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Pig Spotter Literally itself is often. Information is quite like tweet deck you useful, can. but you get certain people just. Him is just too much information. Yes, yes. Uh, with other people, it's just like. Crap. I don't need to know this. Mm. Yes. The, and unfortunately, there's like one or two gems in there that you do need to know. So you don't want to really like not follow them yeah this is what happened to me with eyewitness news and eventually they just made me so angry that i stopped following them is because um they would spam their rss feed to their twitter updates right i don't want that that's what i use rss for Mm. um but they also did live coverage on twitter instead of like as a live blog and so that i wanted and so i'm like that's what i want so either put it on your website where i can you know so you can get advertising Mm. revenue off it i understand as a journalist that you know live live tweeting by the way is like the worst thing you can do as a uh, as an up-to-date news organization that gets mm. you the on unfollow th- hammer immediately no 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 you well that and on twitter uh, nobody's like there's only one person getting that money and that's twitter except of course they're not really they're properly not really monetized yet but you as the journalist as the newspaper are not getting any sort of 
compensation yeah. for live blogging on Twitter. That's what's cool. Ars Technica uses this thing that they put in a page. Now, that means that you don't get like refresh hits the whole time like Engadget does, yeah. which is scaly. But it does mean that you get to live blog. It's on your site. Your ads get shown. Your advertisers That's are cool, happy. Yeah. Done deal. So, you know, whatever, you know, I, eventually I tweeted Eyewitness News and it didn't come right. I think they might have done that now, yeah. split the updates feed from the... Yeah, from because RSS. that's the one. That, that's the biggest problem is the fact that the, all these big news organizations they push all it down onto their Twitter and it just goes. There's just so much. One thing I've noticed, I've got the CNN app on my um, on my iPad, and obviously I've got push notifications turned on, and they. That they could use their push notification to send down every single new article that they use, but they don't. Somebody is sitting there and handpicking the really critical that, that breaking well. news or whatever, and they only push down those. And when you read them, they you know if you see a push notification from CNN, it's always going to be good. Mm -hmm. So you are always end up reading it. And I have a cool idea for Twitter. I, I think I'll I'll say it anyway because. But they need a like. You're going to Australia and you're going to be busy. They they need a like button or some sort of vote up or dig button on tweets. I so, agree. Yes. So that you can you can follow something. I and follow set the threshold. that. I, I don't even. I, don't I can even set the threshold a threshold exactly. Barry is what I want is I don't even need a dislike. I want a recommend. No, no, not a dislike. Just a a like button yeah. on a tweet so that I can be following. For instance, um, I don't know who. What Paris Hilton? Paris Hilton, and most of her stuff is going to be crap. In name, yeah. But now, there might be a gem in yes. there every now and then. I, I want them they, they to add that with, <laughs> with a system similar to StumbleUpon. Sorry, yeah. Which if I like something and you like something, you know, and we continually agree, yes. when you so like, like it, it, it must recommend it to like me. Like Dig Four. Exactly. I mean, that looks at your friends. So it's not just about whose uh, uh, amount of digs. It's about the social aspect of the people you respect and the amount that they've dug it. Cool. And have almost a separate feed for that. Yeah. Or even I can set that on your main feed. On, a, on the person. I follow you. I like what you do, but I want a threshold on it. So people that have liked your tweets, I only see those tweets in my main feed. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, I think, think that, that wouldn't uh, work so well because her fans are just going to like everything yeah, she no, tweets. So, yeah, I, I think the social aspect is, is the way to do yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the things is it needs I think to it's a good idea. That I need to have liked things that you like. So if you, mm. you're a Paris Hilton fan, the probability that the things that you like are the same that I like generally are very low. So yeah. it won't recommend your stuff to me. Yeah. No, so it has to be social, agreed. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. got to be social. But I think there's a market for something coming in. I don't know if it's going to be a third-party application that uh, adds a layer onto Twitter well, or a whole new tw probably Twitter. Probably not because, because Twitter's, Twitter's, Twitter's now Twitter's uh, clamping down, 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 down on, on third-party third -party applications. Apps. So this is the time for a social, a socially... That's the other thing is what I find quite amusing with this whole Twitter new, new Twitter thing is that no no we don't want third ap party applications but you know it'd be very cool if you can you know pull stats and all the rest of it out you know there's a real need for that and we like you doing that I'm going well yes and what will happen in two years time you'll just kill those people so yeah. why, why would anybody bother you've just proven what you like and what you're going to do as soon as you bought out the ones you want yeah anyway. I think I'm very into what they've done. I had, yeah. a, I had a cool topic I wanted to talk about. and you think about it? And I'll we'll think about it. You. Sorry. Uh, Open up a note. Does like Mac OS come with a note-taking application? It does. One button. Boom. Yeah, Stickies. So, so use that one button. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> take your note. Cool. I feel it. so bad right. because what, I have so much Apple equipment now. While you're thinking now. about that, uh, we're going to be talking about the GPS, uh, planned wireless network threat in GPS. This is America, but it, it's quite interesting here because we tend to eventually seem to replicate whatever America does quite often. Sometimes. Except Unless the America's the done it the and we want to do it better. No, we're European, dude. <laughs> Despite Africa's statements to the contrary, uh, you know, about the, the European imperialist spawn col what colonial colonial whatever yeah that's yeah. who we take we on Nima, well, Nima, anyway North gps North system does belong yeah. to them <laughs> yes belongs well, to them hmm? Go 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 galileo isn't it no, no, galileo the, the, the russian system oh yeah, yeah. who uses that the russians, russians. Mm. and then uh, galileo yeah the which Europeans, may yes. or may not eventually be <sighs> live and rolled into is. gps it is it's all compatible uh, yeah no, 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 no the whole galileo system is compatible with gps did they actually get the funding though to go forward 
Oh, they've launched some of the stuff already. Yeah. yeah well. All right. So we're busy building a terrestrial GPS system that's con. I oh, know a, a Wi-Fi system that's. Uh, yeah. Well, that's con. What has to do this in America? Yeah. Okay. It's clear wire. In America. In America. 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 Clear, clear wire. wire. Dun dun dun. Yeah. All right. Okay. Why? Why? <laughs> There was a definite... Uh, is there a story behind that? No, 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 no. no, no. no, no. It's just, just that it's interesting. Um, the Clearwire is a CDMA operator, right? So is this thing... I think so. Okay. Anyway, thing? Clearwire yeah. is busy running on a network out there, which is a wireless network. LTE, Not, probably. Uh, uh, they just say it's a wireless broadband network. I okay. didn't go into the exact... I think it is LTE, or it's going to be... I mean, who wouldn't roll out LTE now if you're rolling out a new network? Yeah, yeah. a new Stupid. network, exactly. Um, but basically, you're supposed to find wireless broadband throughout the country. Uh, but unfortunately, the frequencies that, that they've been given are very, very close to the GPS ones. And all of a sudden, all the GPS providers are going, yeah, well, you're going to bleed across into ours. And it turns out that a lot of the GPS ones assume that nobody would be close to them. So all the filters and everything you need to make sure that you don't accidentally listen to frequencies mm -hmm. that aren't the ones you're supposed to be listening to aren't there. Uh, it's a flip. simple bandpass filter, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, but they've obviously the they've obviously decided. Well, no one's close to us, so we're just not going to make it that. Soon. Yeah. Well, but this way, it increases <laughs> the price of the GPS units by thirty cents. <laughs> it's exactly so it's they're saving themselves filter. thirty cents by not putting it. in. Yeah, but dude, when you're making millions and millions, then those yeah. thirty cents yeah. start adding up. <laughs> and when each one of these is, a <laughs> yeah, it starts adding yeah. up. But yes, so. They're now worried that this wireless network yes. is now going to stop. <laughs> planes are going to stop for, you know, all the rest of it. And yeah, who's going right. to pay for it and all the rest okay. of it. So, so now what? That's where they are. <laughs> yeah, that's Someone didn't think that through, did they? No. And wh where is this happening? Here. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Where did you say America? America. The States. Yeah, why? Uh, if I were the regulator, mm. I'd also go, sorry, dude, that's your problem, not mine. Why didn't you put a band pass filter in B your Because exactly, then yeah. the guys go, well, you know our planes that are flying in the sky that <laughs> use these things? And Do you want them to crash into your towers? <laughs> we, we can't promise that they won't crash. If you do this, okay, but planes really? They didn't put a band pass filter in a plane. No, I'm sure they've got way more. <laughs> yeah, 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 way, 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 way more. Uh, well, yeah. well they, what they say is that they, they, they don't know which ones do or not because nothing's been in this. Why not that's just change the terrible. frequency of the provider? Why not just lower? Oh, the, why not oh, get no, rid no, of no, no, no. That's to tell to tell that to our service providers in this country. Yeah, I'll tell it's, you. It's uh, no, no, no. Like imagine your cell C and you're busy rolling out your 900 megahertz network, and Ecosia goes, "Oopsie, actually we've allocated, uh, we've, we've promised this uh, spectrum to somebody else. You have to change." Um, but that's a government problem. They must change. They must pay for the the change. Government won't that's pay for that. Billions. Of course yeah. it is. <laughs> But they you know, the taxpayers paying it. Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah. Again, well, it's yeah. the taxpayers' fault in the first place for electing electing officials who were stupid enough <laughs> yeah. to not understand well, about bandwidth allocation, <laughs> uh, spectrum not, allocation. Not to over politicize <laughs> things, but yeah, the, the uh, unfortunate voter doesn't have a much say oh. in it. They go, "We like the ANC, which is what most voters like." And uh, and then the ANC decides who becomes. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Anyway, th th that's how that's it works. That's what happens. Africa. That's how it works yeah. everywhere in the but, world. But I'm fairly sure the look. I don't want to. I don't want to. I mean, no. I don't know much about the American thing. Is also quite complicated. And the guys, you know, where my broadband tends to cover these things from a South African perspective, like I haven't really found stuff like that in America. They are like highly mm. technical blogs, but they are completely over my head um, uh, American blogs they're either way too technical or yeah. they're Engadget yeah, yeah. in which case Engadget goes hey this YMAX network is 4G and I'm going no, yeah. it's anyway. not yeah. and, uh, but I've noticed America just seems to have skipped that well if we're talking everything's about 4G. everything's now 4G HSPO yeah. plus yeah. YMAX and, and LTE who one, cares you know like uh, Salsicio is saying it's 4G everybody else says and no it's not slapped on the wrist yeah, basically they, they, they got hammered down yes what happened in America is the one guy said we're 4G so and then guys, well, if you're going to say you're 4G, yeah, we're going to say we're 4G. 4G. That crappy dollar of 4G you've got is 4G dollar. <laughs> and, 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 and the advertising thing said, okay. Yeah. No, yeah. And nobody stops, and so now it's 4G. And so it's all 4G. And apparently, um, I have it on fairly good authority that this whole thing actually starts with a manufacturer. So Samsung or Nokia Siemens Networks or I mean not not really uh, yeah, know, yeah not to not to flame any of these guys you know one of them might be more ethical than others you know but these guys these are the guys who make these equipment ZTE Huawei yeah. uh, Motorola Ericsson they make this type of equipment and so they'd go to the uh, service provider and go here's 4G equipment yeah. and they'd go cool you know upgrading my network to HSPA plus whatever the case might be I'm buying 4G equipment so they're paying. They're paying a premium, yeah. you know, in order to save 4G. 
And so they're going to say 4G. And now, you know, like they get told and later, they get later down the line, actually, actually it's, it's not 4G. Not 4G. No, 4G. And, the, and the provider of the equipment is going, <laughs> well, you've already bought it. We <laughs> made a like, I don't speak <laughs> English. <laughs> We're from China. Yeah. yeah. You works, should, you should do your research. You yeah. should do research. <laughs> We, we, we will upgrade the software if we can make it 4G. <laughs> in China, we call this 4G. But you'll pay for that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Come. Dude. But if we're talking okay, wait, about... Wait, wait, wait. Talking about off the side topic here. Yes. You know what was released today? No. What? No, I'm three. Was that today? Oh, yeah, yeah, that was today. It was today. Yeah, it's yeah. now. Who's it's Hello, like. brothers. It looks pretty it's sweet. Much cooler. Dude, it much, looks awesome. Much, it's much slick. Slick. Okay. It's a pity I'm never going to use it's it It's so slick. Does it work? Yeah, because yeah, we're no, going to end up using... I remember using, um, with Unity. K Unity, Unity yeah. 4 came out. Like, it's just no, beautiful. It, it was beautiful. And then you try to use it, you realize... No, but KDE 4 is not bad now, hey? No, no, they but fixed all the bugs. Now, what I'm worried is... And i am seeing this. The next release of Ubuntu, they're going to go, we couldn't get GNOME to work. No, but no. it's going to take time then, for Gnome 3 to come yeah, through. Yeah, no, because is you'll switch over to KDE and then you'll be you'll be back on KDE. Dude, I'm actually going to seriously Ubuntu. look at running Gnome 4. Ah, uh, there, yeah, Gnome 3, because it really looks slick. Cool. It looks yeah. cool. Yeah. Whether looks it's going to actually cool. work the way it does, is who yeah. knows, but it looks quite cool. Can and they've got some really clever ideas for the desktop stuff, eh? The problem with I find normally with with uh, sorry gnome no 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 it's fine sorry I just cut you off. Just no 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 we 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 kind of jumped so far <laughs> off topic but but no no carry on no carry on okay go uh, back to your go, topic go. no no I'm just saying like yeah gnome three is going to be great but let's wait and see until no it's but it's been you could get no, the betas no, and no, all you that. Can, no, 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 I'm just mentioning let's see what no I know I'm not I'm not dissing your mention but like okay I just wanted to say is how do you turn off your PC. I freaking don't know. I haven't watched that video yet. <laughs> you've got to hit a... They, they've been using Apple too much. This, you've got to hit your control key and then click... Off. Ah, no, that's a rubbish what idea. What are you talking about? Control, control key. key. Well... No, Tim. Really? Tim Dude, why? you click on the little Apple, the same as you click on your little power button, and you click freaking shut down. Dude, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> yes, like that. <laughs> what? Normally, the rest of us just go mouse, turn off power. Yes, yeah. you click start, turn off. Here you click the Apple logo, logo and, and you click turn off. Down. You've got to, on your keyboard, there's a button you need to press. No, you don't. No, you don't. In Gnome 3. No, man, that's nonsense. That's fud, dude. There's that, no way. He got hell. nailed by some April Fool's. <laughs> there's <laughs> no way by hell that they would put something stupid like that. And if they have... Sorry, the reason why I said I've been hit by other things like that with Gnome, Gnome normally releases stuff and they've got all these, let's, let's minimize and, and accelerate and all the rest of it. And then they hit about version 2.1 and they put it all back in. I love the way as soon as he sees something bad in an operating system, he goes, like Apple, like <laughs> Apple. <laughs> oh, this, this screen explodes when you look at it too much, like Apple. <laughs> like, <laughs> this Apple screen. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, like, I'm trying to think oh, of the most right. random thing. Right. But I want to say we'll, we'll something if we're going cool? <laughs> back on topic, but still <laughs> off topic. We were talking about tech and politics. Yes. And I want to talk about tech uh, and politics. Uh, Obama. Obviously, he started today, he launched his re campaign yes. uh, yeah. to get re like like election said, campaign. Um, the most unexpected news. Of yeah. But, but let's just. Uh, what's it? What was his oh. slogan? Yes, we can. <coughs> now it's yeah. going to be, yeah, well, we kind of maybe should have. Maybe we yeah. can. But <laughs> no, yes, no, we try. You, yes, know we where, try. you know where he's going to do this? This time I really promise. <laughs> yeah. 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 Really but you know promise. where he's going to do this? <laughs> what? He's going to do this at Facebook. So before. He, before he did that with the previous done. election. No, th that's what I'm saying. This is, this is what's different about it. So this is how much they're bringing, they taking note of social media. Before they did this on YouTube, right? They went to YouTube and they said, like, listen, we want to run this campaign. Um, and you can ask people on YouTube can post questions and we'll answer them live and blah, blah, blah. But YouTube had to go to the White House, set up, do everything, blah, 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 yeah. blah. Obama's going to Facebook headquarters to do this instead. Ooh. And old Zaki. How much is he being paid for this? Well, who knows? But old, Zach, pain old Zaki and that other chick uh, that runs all the whole marketing, whatever, spiel, are going to be taking live questions from Facebook users and. Uh, and then asking, yeah, yeah. dude, it's oh, going to be a lot of questions. questions. You're a fag. You're a fag. It's going to be. It's going to be. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> you, here's the questions that your users will be asking, asking me. me. Yeah, but either way, oh, what I'm saying funny. is, so Obama's heading off to the Facebook headquarters instead of the YouTube guys going to him oh, so okay. they're obviously taking the whole social media thing a bit more serious. But it's going to be interesting, I think, because oh, it's, it's sort of changing it up a bit. And it's going to be all streamed live on YouTube. So oh, maybe take yeah, a look at well, it if you're interested in American politics. 
I think they jinxed him when they gave him the Nobel Peace Prize before he did anything. <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> anyway. I think they jinxed the whole thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, well. All right, okay, let's, we're going to go through the, the last couple of topics. A bit I quicker. have another topic that I want to talk well, about when we get to well, well, a space. Well, uh, we out of getting out of time, so... No, this uh, is important. No, well, let's, let's just do this one and we'll talk crap some more. This is hey, important, what, what I want to say. So okay. we need to cool. talk oh, about just, it. Just, it depends. Over time. So yeah, no, no, that's fine. Let's carry on. Uh, let's do this. Though it does look a bit like Unity. <laughs> Uh, okay, sure well, Tim, if you want to tell us something, like tell us no, no, something. Sorry, I'm just getting up. Just lost. Yeah. Uh, no, Unity well, I'm going to then talk about. Like I'm going to talk about my cool. topic while Tim f- searches for okay, his I new topic. It. Ted talks Stuxnet. It's okay, quick, dude, that's quick. Cool, go for it. Right, uh, Stuxnet worm. We talked about it. Uranium refineries in Iran. All the rest. There's a TED talk b- about it. Check the video. It's interesting. Okay. Cool. All about uranium. No, no, but the about Stuxnet, Stuxnet worm. Oh, it's, the, oh. it's the decoding. Oh, it's cracking oh, okay. the Sorry, Stuxnet yes. worm yeah. and how they go. Oh, do they actually oh, go through that? I, this is the I one haven't watched the whole video. It, was I was cement- watching it. it wasn't semantic. Who was it that it was found semantic. it? Was it no, semantic? No, no, um, no. It was, was found McAfee, Stuxnet was first. It? it was some this random. This is Ralph Langer. No, no. Some random security. They first worked out what it was doing. Yeah. Somebody actually managed to hack the actual program. But anyway, this is Ralph Langer. Talking about cracking the stucks, uh, the stucks. Okay. Network. This is where they found out that it was actually going to the point where it was actually increasing the, s- the decreasing the speed of the central the yeah. to yeah. affect yeah. the yeah. quality, quality of quality. the, but not not badly the enough that it would actually not be enriched. You could still use it as uh, in power generation. Yeah, but not with not, not weapons. weapons. Yeah, but anyway, that's it's interesting. I'm, cool. I will go, definitely go have a look. It's interesting. Have a look at uh, that. Yeah. All so right. I just want so to talk about near field communications. Okay, quickly, go. What I'm saying, you know how we're all talking about how near f- field communications, we were talking about it on the way here, straight yes. in the car, how, you know, it's coming. It's, it's, we're probably a year or two off of it, you know, actually being using it for paying uh, yeah. and replacing oh. your credit card and that kind of I, thing. I, okay. The funny thing is, oh, like, we, all, this we all find this great like oh we've all been thinking about this like oh how awesome would it be if you could just swipe your phone to pay for something swipe your phone to pay for something but places like hong kong and china have had this for ages it's called octopus and i noticed it the first time when i was there last time it's funny you laugh dude because dude, that's there was such a, an awesome name. there was a there was a meme about this before yes. that they, like you know how you always get yes, these yes, funny yes. things in chinese yes. yeah, that have been yeah. translated and it was a funny word and everybody's laughing oh, look octopus they obviously mean payment system or something and it was like and i remember laughing at it as hell you go there octopus is what they call this payment system pay with octopus it's just it's funny but <laughs> that's awesome dude. it's real so you but go is it, is it near field communication it yeah it's using near field communication in the cards um rfid, like, cards. Uh, RFID, RFID cards. cards like an oyster card Okay. Yes, but you can use it yes. as a credit card. But you can oh, use okay. it for paying and everything. So you it's pay. You want to pay for the subway? You just they, the funny thing yeah, is they integrate it in everything, everywhere, dude. You can no, you no, can. No, it's not in the phone. It's in a card. It's okay. in a card. Yes. But, but you can copy the card. card. Mm, yeah. You can copy the card to your phone and then use your phone, and they've got no issue with this. So they have to the take in their phone. Yes, of course. Like you could clone other people's cards. Your card. Yes, of course you can. But. It's a problem, yes, but I mean, that's what I'm... So anyway, it's the same thing as your credit card. Point don't let it go being, back without... Don't let I can copy your credit card. It can happen. It's just not... Keep not, a not hold of your chip stuff. It. Yes, you can. Of course, of course you can. Yes, if you've got physical access to I can steal card. your card, use it somewhere else. This is not my point. <laughs> <laughs> my point being is they've, been, they've had this going for so long that they've incorporated it so deep into systems where you can park at a parking meter and a parking meter has octopus. Swipe your card. You can go to the subway station, you swipe it, and when you get off at the next one, you swipe it again, and then it charges you because it calculates yes. the distance. You can pay for, you go to McDonald's, I'll have a Big Mac and, uh, with cheese and, um, and a Coke. Oh, how would you like to pay? Oh, Octopus. Comes up on the Octopus thing, you swipe your phone or your card, paid for. I mean, that's awesome. I mean, we've been talking about this, how awesome would it be to have for ages, and with near field communication, everybody's going, oh, yes, we can finally do this. China, Hong Kong, all these oaks, they've been doing it forever. Well, the same with QR codes. Of course. QR codes are huge there. I just wanted to make this point, you know. Like, Mm. the Western world is so blind to what the Westerners do that they don't see what other people have been doing. That's because they speak Chinese. Exactly. But everyone keeps laughing at octopuses. This is my point. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. But what... 
th- this is my point exactly. Where I'm actually getting to this is they have been forced to innovate in because of their language. If you if you think about it, this is what I was thinking about the other day. I know this is They've going a bit far. To innovate. Because oh, of good. their language. No, la- no, 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 no. Listen no. to me. No, listen to me. Think about it. We've been able to have, uh, think of your basic calculator LCD screen, right? You have those, what's it, seven? uh, Seven segment displays. Seven segment displays. And we can display all our numbers, all our characters. True. Right. They've never been able to do that. Unless they're using the the phonetic alphabet. They've had to use, yes, but they've had to use polycoms, displays, you know, all the dotted uh, uh, LED displays to do this. Think about their cell phones and all this thing they've had to push technology further like way before other people have had to specifically to cater for what they need to do yeah i'm yeah, not up saying to a point but up NFC, to a point is, of, nfc is not one of those things i yeah, think it, no, it, 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 i'm, not, no, I'm just barriers. using that i'm no, using that Barry, as Barry, I, I disagree with you i think it's it's a culture thing is in their culture QR yes, codes Tim, came through Japan. but what i'm saying is and, and you see this, this is where it stemmed from I'm not saying that, yes, uh, uh, no, they're using no, near field communication no, because of their language. I'm not saying that. I'm saying Barry, they what, what are I'm ahead of us is because I'm disagreeing of with your premise on why they're doing it. Okay, why? I think it's more about their culture and their culture, phones and everything else. We're a lot more push forward. Uh, they get new Where phones. Where did all that the time. stem from? That's what but I'm saying. It's, it's not just about stemming from. I mean, like if you look at the, the origin of a lot of these technologies, the, the, the origi- I think it's it's got to do with simple geography. Uh, not that I'm an, an anthropologist yeah. by any stretch of imagination, but the QR codes themselves don't come from the West. So it makes yeah. sense. For them to have proliferated in the east, no, because of course. That, that's sort of how where the exchange of ideas happens. But you are there's m- also less of a less of a language. Well, yeah. maybe everybody's a missing my barrier. point here, though. Sorry, well, the just codes, to I, I could agree with you partially there because it's a quicker way of getting symbols and stuff across. These are new so technologies. You know, Sorry, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like when technology started to grow. It grew more there because of the need for technology, uh, uh, certain technology in their culture, yeah, and that has pushed them forward, right? To innovate things before we've needed that innovation. So we, we've taken a lot of... Sorry, it's an, uh, to me it was just a very interesting topic. I mean, I, like... No, 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 look, I, I disagree with you fundamentally, but the... the yes, one, one thing <laughs> <laughs> so in other words, your, your idea sucks. Get the fuck around here. <laughs> no, not quite. But, but one example I do want to put forward to your point yeah. is, um, for instance, we have done away with the stylus. Yeah. And that's actually quite a problem for people who need to still... Uh, right. R- write symbols and things. Yeah. And so they've got um, capacitive styluses for their tablets and stuff now so that mm. they can still write in their, in their alphabet. Guy in my yeah. class uses one for his iPad. Yeah. yeah. That's the way he takes notes. Oh, yeah. like, but English notes? Yeah. Okay. He just prefers writing. Well, also, it, it, like Barry said, <coughs> in their culture, they need to write all these symbols. So exactly. That, that's why I'm bringing yeah. it up. Mm. So to your point mm. there, that's an old technology which has had to, which we've abandoned largely. Yeah. Um, which they've had to keep alive mm. in order to sort of fit their culture. So the reverse is the reverse. Yeah, is the reverse is there as well. I don't know and, about and as also well. there's other technologies that are developed in the West that then, because they develop there and they get taught to their friends and then promote. Pro- like Facebook, Facebook. Gate, Twitter, and then eventually hit mm. that. It's no, it won't I? because the Great Firewall of China. And then there's QQ, yeah, yeah, but for in Japan, instance, this yeah, when yeah, the rest yeah. of us are using, you know, well, like we talk about names. QT. You, we were talking about yeah, QQ, QQ the other day. day. What's happened with QQ? It's still going. It's, it's still huge going. in China. It's a huge, massive in China. That yeah, is like the but that is their like instant messenger. That's, that's, that's cool. the thing. It's all depends where the technology started. And, and who their friends were when they started. No, it doesn't. It's, it's, it's not where the technology started because look at Orkut. It was massive in Brazil. True. Yeah. Isn't it still? It is still massive. Yeah. In, but it's Apparently like it's dropping. Yeah, that, but that's it's like the only place that it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like Nixon anything. in South Africa, which, which has tried to sort of expand beyond. It's our like world. MySpace well, in, uh, in Mexico. Of, of the, the mobile boom here. That it's perhaps. a local technology that you spread inside the country. Yes. Yeah. 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 All, I, all I'm saying is that like I got, I got a feeling like that they they are so more accepting of technologies and so on because they needed to use them a lot a, a lot sooner than we needed them. That's what I'm saying. So they almost got a head start 
on, on us in that sense. So we, we're but, uh, a few okay, years right. behind, if, if not I, in technology, but the adoption of technology because they had to, their whole culture all, and their whole, uh, all the yes. people had to adopt it sooner but a lot if this, they wanted to but use cell phones. But also came from Japan, which is a small island, which then in there, there's the, the cell phones, they change the cell phones almost every six no, months. of course. As opposed to ours. But they do so that today cheaper. because of... Well, because it was produced Innovation. in that country and it was cheap to start off with, so they could do it a lot quicker. Yeah, but I so also feel that the, there's the, a point of it that they had to develop culture. it if they wanted to start innovating electronics. They had to push it a bit further than everybody else had to push it at the uh, beginning. I, I would take uh, it back, like, if you, if, yeah. you wanna be, if we want to be radical about this, I would take it back so far as sort of the BCs, when the East, uh, like, was a civilized society and we were still... Freaking cavemen. Yes. Yeah, well, killing each other quite, in Europe. Yeah, I mean, we, we were still pretty much duking it out in Europe, exactly. Um, you know, and... And you get waves that start on one side and flow to the other and, and backwards and forwards. It's not... Yeah. All right, do you have a final topic? There was one at the bottom, wasn't there? Yes, there was uh, Google driverless cars and logic of safety. Oh, yes, this was... <laughs> this we need to talk about it. It's yeah. Really interesting. yeah it's okay, interesting let's one. do it. Um, basically, but at the premise of this is all, all along <coughs> the line. If you have... A th why we'll never get computerized cars? Uh, and the, the logic is, if you have a human... 10 humans ever crash. You know, it's bad, but you, you accept because humans make errors. If you have one computer who makes a crash... It's not acceptable. Yet. Not acceptable yet. Because it is changing. The and where it is changing is our friends in the East. The problem? With automated train systems. And things like that. Okay. Driverless trains. The, the problem here is, I think, that if one computer crashes, how do we know that we can trust any of the others? Yeah. Yeah. If one human crashes, well, we know we can't trust that guy. Well, we know humans, humans are stupid. Yeah. We know, yeah. we know we, we can't trust people. Humans. Yes, but, but, but with a computer, you're giving it your trust now but to you get you there safely. Decrease deaths by ten percent. Yes. Right. Or, or to ten percent. Mm. But that ten percent was now not humans, but computers. Would you accept that? That's the thing. Is like how, I say, you know, a, know, it's a touchy because subject. I'm, I'm putting my life in a computer's hands, if, and if I mean, I, we yes, work with these things. but you've got a things. much better chance of surviving by doing that. If I do, yes, you do. You do. That's what we're saying here. No, if it's proven. No, that's what we're saying. If exactly. You, say, for instance, you could reduce road deaths. Right? By 10 okay, a million. But that, a million on, yeah. people that's less on a average. year die. That's on average. Yeah. Yes. On okay. Average. So on average, there I might have, you know, on average, I have a better chance yes. of survival. Of course, but that's yeah. For a specific got. situation, the computer might have, who knows? I mean, but with, people with are bugs, we never know where and, they are. But and, that's and fine. I'd like to but throw in fine. here, this comes right off of the show we did last week where mm. we talked about somebody hacking a, a car, <laughs> yeah, into car, a car. Yeah. radio. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. But I mean, people take drugs and drink alcohol. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, and those people are the people that you don't trust. But that's the thing. How do you know you can't trust it? How the do you know you can't trust the, the drugs, drugs and the alcohol? You? Look, no, but how can you... You say you, 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 say you trust people, mm. but you don't trust no, the computer. No, you don't trust people. No, we don't trust But you don't trust... you. What a, that's but with, a thing. with a computer, you see, with people, you don't expect perfection. With a computer, once it starts doing something, you're kind of expecting no, but perfection. If, if, if I could prove, and, and they follow all the, the things with the rockets and stuff like that, of how accurate they get it, they can get it down to point of, <coughs> I will reduce this, and, and fairly accurately, mm. I will reduce deaths down to 10%. Unless they make to do the calculation in foot pound and program the PC in meters. In meters. Yeah, yeah. but that's, the, you know, yeah. okay, hold on. <laughs> I've got another thing. You're saying as well as what you <coughs> mentioned earlier where you said, um, you know, if you don't trust, if one computer causes an accident, how do you trust any of them? Right? Yes. But you know what? Because it's the that's same a, system. But yes, but you know what? Then you patch the system and you fix it that that car will never do it again. Yeah. People still you will can't drink. patch people. <laughs> people See, will still okay, speed in wet traffic. Now, now I'm going to start quoting roads. Jack Sparrow. Hmm. Dishonest people you can trust to be dishonest. It's the honest well, ones that you have to watch. What happens if they're accidentally honest? <laughs> well, <laughs> there's it's good honest people that every now and then had a little bit too much to drink and they need to get home. You know what I mean? What's sure. the difference in that? In uh, having that problem in people, right? Okay, so you've got a you've got a trustworthy person and you've got a trustworthy a trustworthy system, mm -hmm. right? A little bug pops up in the system, or the guy has a little bit too much to drink. What's the difference? Look, I, I know we're talking about like fairly philosophical concepts here. Yeah. So, like to talk to bring it back to what I think practically. I mean, what about the scenario where a human introduced error? Um, let's say. 
a, 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 I don't know, whatever, a construction vehicle which still needs to be controlled by a human being or whatever the case might be. Causes chaos. Or, wipe, or, or just, just wipes out the little uh, beamy Sense, thing that, yeah. the, that the cars need to, to yes. orient themselves on but the road. Th- that would be in a very small area. You'll have but very on the few highway, deaths of problems from that. As soon as no, it occurs but, but, once, the system will flag that and route around them. No, but but now you might actually have 100 people dead in that situation cool. instead but of having 10 people in yes. an accident with maybe 3 dead no, and 5 but it, On average, it that. still works out. It's okay. They say if it works out. <laughs> instead of no. having 10 people dead 100 times, you now only have 100 people dead. So instead of having 1,000 people dead across all the roads, in this one area you have 100 people Perhaps, dead. but I mean, that, that's a big if. Well, they say, no, so statistically, that's at, actually more likely to occur. Per- perhaps, but what I'm saying is, is that if there is error and you have humans, there is a chance that the humans can recover. No, but humans are really okay. bad at doing that. Eh? Humans really overestimate yeah. how good drivers they are. No, mm. no, agreed, agreed. Yeah. And, um, and Whereas the system might have a glitch, but after the glitch, it's it, it might be way better at correcting itself than a human would be at correcting we, itself. You know, that's the thing is we're not gonna, you're not going to say you're in a pre... You know, you'd have to add some sort of intelligence and problem-solving yeah. abilities yeah. And, and to your car. At least the, the worst-case scenario with a car, if something bad goes wrong, you get off the road and you stop. Yeah. I guess or you have, line. at the very least, a manual override. Manual override. That's another the problem is it's well, it actually come down the the manual chaos. override it's, it comes increase yes. the, the probability yes. of risk. Yeah, yeah. because they the will. biggest problem is is as soon as someone panics because they think the car is going to not take the corner or something but meanwhile the car knows that there's a roadblock there and it's just fine. going around the block yes some guy's going to grab the steering wheel and drive into it yeah. okay yeah. and then he's going to blame the computer <coughs> and all that yeah. that's another thing is i think it comes down to the issue with loss of control and the you're losing control, are, you're losing control, control over it, yes. even though which the system people is, inherently don't like. The, I don't even though like the that system feeling. is a way, way and better also, driver than you. If we're playing statistics, yes. um, there's some statistician at the university. Um, he spoke to some of our AI lecturers, and you know they mm. collaborate quite often. And he actually um, said that it would be better if we had a sample of the population to vote. So if you actually have a random sample, which we can, mm. we, we can mm. get that. You get everyone in there, you take a random sample to vote, so not everyone votes. It would be better. You'd get better results if you just do that. Better compared to Yes, you would. Better than at the moment where we register to vote and, and everyone, everyone gets votes. their say. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because you have a, a random sample. You have an actual representative sample of your entire population. Yeah. But then it has to be like no, quite true. a sample. Because no, you've, no, got, no. you've got lots of people because, that say... with agendas. You've like got tens lots of people thousands. coming with yeah. agendas to... Exactly. And, uh, which all, you get sorts of, all that sort yes. of stuff, yeah. Because you have, you have lots of people that say, like, oh, I'm not voting but because I'm never going to win. And so you get rid of all of that yeah. by taking only a few people out of the, ma- the but, majority but almost. People would never agree to this. No. Yeah. Because taking, it takes but, but away. But following from that the argument, control. those yeah. people actually get filtered out across the masses. No, they There's don't. There's enough volume. There's not enough volume. Not with uh-uh. voting. Yeah. I've heard that argument before. Yeah. Well. It's because it's so political and it's so. It's such a. a, such a um, Oh, I mean, as Barry was saying, you get a lot of people actually saying, "I'm not going to vote because I don't. I'm never going to win. My party will never win." Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And there's things like that. And it, 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 as I say, there's and all those agendas and political count? wrangling that comes into it. So yeah, I've, I've heard that argument. And exactly a lot of the well. other people of the it's party that the ruling party almost, a lot of their people are more happy to vote. If you know what I mean, if they've got something out of the government that they've elected before they are more likely to vote and say yes i'm going to go back and re-elect those people where we're going to where we're going to go like are they just going to win anyway so we're not going to vote and if you then take a random sample out of a lot of different people you get rid of a lot of that Um, but anyway what i wanted to say was the the bottom line to this is (laughs) like just like i won't be the first person to ride the 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 car train the first time it opens up well i have (laughs) seen it sort of being tested so i wouldn't be the first one on that train you know ah. when the line is just completed i would I, I wouldn't be the first one to like adopt one of these cars it just ah, i would i would i feel the, safer the, the, like it's, it's adopt like adopting version one of an operating system it's it's cool if it's not your life on the line I, yeah. I, dude I, it's gonna be like a roller coaster ride every day to work i'm very well aware i'm an early adopter i would try it <laughs> but we'll see yeah, but cool. But yeah, it's interesting. It's it's. I think it comes down to not a technical issue, but it's more of a social yeah. issue mm. than a than a technical problem to solve. But All right, yeah. on that, another <laughs> good issue. Uh, we're gonna end the show. Um, thank you, Stuart. Pleasure. Thank you, Jan. Thank you, Always Harry. A pleasure. Thank pleasure. you, Barry. 
And from all of us, uh, cheers. Speak to you next week. Good night. Yep, yep. Cheers. Cheers.